What? What is? What is? I'm sorry. What? Why? physics there. Alright, so... That happened. <laughs> now I gotta say... Maybe that was a glitch or something, but oh my gosh, I I can't even deal. <laughs> Maybe that was a glitch or something, but even in the first Witcher game, the very first Witcher game, as far as I remember at least, when you knocked somebody down and stabbed them on the ground, they reacted. This game doesn't seem very good about that. Awful pile. No problem. Oh, you scared. What do we have here? Crippled cakes. is locked. Okay. Mm, I guess this is as good a place as any to rest through the night. Yeah, it's 6 a.m. Just so hopefully all the shops are open. Necromancer and witch Philippa Ailhart has been declared a public enemy. Information leading to her capture will be re rewarded. Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> this door perhaps open now? Oh. I want to see what crippled Kate's is. start talking about how it would be cool if you could actually like go to a tavern and sit down and order a meal but I've, I've already beaten that horse enough <laughs> I'm just gonna try to stop talking about that because it's never gonna stop bothering me but I mean I've already complained enough that is a really interesting Oh, okay, I see. It's just a shirt and then separate sleeves for some reason. So I wonder how that elf girl would have reacted if I would have said the other thing. Though I don't really even remember what the other thing was. No, not come to think of it. Haven't saved in a while. It's just in case something interesting happens. Merchant. 
good day for commerce. Mm, not a functional merchant. Why are there so many? Like, are all of these girls that are just standing outside, are they standing outside of brothels? Or are they just chilling there looking for business? Because if they're all standing outside of their establishments, there are a lot of brothels here. <laughs> like, a ridiculous amount of brothels. Have I been here? Yes, I have. We need to go up and this way somehow. In this direction, one way or another. Frustrating. Like, I was so happy in Assassin's Creed 2 when you could finally throw coins at the beggars. <sighs> that, that made me so happy. Because the beggars went from being just a distraction and nothing more, ones that specifically target you, no less, to being an actual dynamic part of the game, you know? They're distractions to you, yes, but it's also a choice you get to make every time you come across them. And you also have the ability to get them to leave you alone. I mean, even if you're not doing it just to be kind. You have the ability to get them to leave you alone just by throwing coins at them. There's a lot going on in this town. And you, don't you butt in like a belch between two pints, cause you're out of your fucking element. So make like a hare and sod off. You're right, out of my element. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. Now get out of here, before I get tired of playing make-believe. I see you lot are tough in the town and nowhere else. Fuck this, this. you let some dandy's boyfriend scare us. Let's show him how things are done on our turf. Not your lucky day. That was pretty slick. Thank you for your help. That's the only way to deal with this rabble. They beg for trouble. And you're begging for trouble just coming here at this hour. Especially dressed like that. I've come on business. One hour. Good luck with that. Wait. <laughs> you helped me once. Perhaps you'd be willing to do it again. From the door for now. More than a kind word this time. Can't afford me. What's involved? Just to be clear, I'm neither a bodyguard nor an assassin for hire. Now, what makes you think I need either of those? I'd simply ask you to accompany me on a stroll. Should anything happen along the way, well, perhaps then you might need to do some work for you. What say you to that? I mm, guess why not? I mean, all I'm doing is strolling around. Agreed. I'll be right behind you. Keep your hand on your hilt. As a general matter of precaution, of course. Of course. Always do that when I'm out for a stroll. I'm not sure how I feel about this guy. Mug like that, I'll get you a copper. Got to be elegant like me. 
Oh, he actually has health now. A certain nobleman asked Geralt for a bit of assistance. He wanted the Witcher to accompany him on a stroll through a rather dodgy part of Novigrad. The rich man's clothing alone would get him killed in that quarter, so Geralt agreed to help. Did the kid just start following me and yell that? That's adorable. Aww. I love kids. Except for this one. I definitely tried to dodge. Details I must keep to myself. After all, I did not agree to pay you to ask me questions. Haven't seen a single crown yet. Because we've not yet finished our stroll. <laughs> Don't know if I like where this is going. some unexpected adventures along the way. However, we can now focus on our core concern, and that is what matters. Who's the fella followed you here? He's my gardener. <laughs> I never go anywhere without him. He's good luck, you see. Just no funny stuff. Got it? Right. On with it before winter snow surprise us. Got four quarts for you now. I can get you another two real quick. Provided you're not lying about demand. I am Ginter de Laverac, and I never go back on my word. I had no trouble distributing the last four quarts, and I assure you there's demand for more. We'll see about that. For now, you owe me 5,000 crowns for the last batch. We agreed on 4,000, and I don't like cheats. I suggest you refrain from trying to pull anything lest you feel a witcher's blade in your gut, right? Bitch, I'm not your thug for hire. Wrong. This is between you two. 
and I'm willing to get paid. Not willing to meddle in other folks' business? Please to hear it. Don't let him get away. Wise choice. I'm not that sure. Just lost what I would do to be paid. Wrong on that count. We'll give you the same sum as this old son agreed to pay. But Witcher! They're not gonna kill him, are they? Ten crowns. Did they... Did, did they kill him? Because, I mean... That made me feel pretty bad. Ugh. I really wish it went from the bottom up. Nobleman asked Geralt for a bit of assistance. He wanted the Witcher to accompany him on a stroll. Uh, the Witcher defended the aristocrat from bandits as he indulged in a bit of slumming. Not his most glamorous contract, but neither was it the worst thing he'd ever had to do for coin. Well, I guess it doesn't matter what happened. It wasn't my business. And that's what this was, apparently. back on this trail and up to this notice board <clears throat> I do want to find a blacksmith soon so I can sell off all my weapons semen uh, rum and supper I never refuse rum and supper in that order What time is it? It is time for me to go to bed. Holy crap. Alright, guess this is where we're ending it. Good to be playing again. Don't know when the next time I'll have time is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I stayed up so much later than I intended to. I have school in the morning. Oh well, I should be fine. Well, see you next time.